We have Troy, the owner of uh, Grooves downtown here in our top 10 vinyl collectibles. And you've had quite a few collectibles come through the doors of Grooves here downtown, including this rare Supremes record. Tell me about this. Well, this is the first Supremes record uh, from the, you know, the early 60s. It uh, got re... they didn't really get famous on this album. The second album was when it, they really uh, got going, you could say. So uh, when the second album came out, this version of the first album was deleted and they re-released it with a totally different cover. Same songs, different covers. So this particular version uh, with this cover is extremely rare. One of the more valuable records in the world, actually. Uh, it was on Antiques Roadshow not too long ago, and uh, the going rate's about $1,000. Uh, we have it for 500 It was the first time I've ever had anything I owned to be on the Antiques Roadshow. I was pretty excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's uh, the most valuable record we have in the store, and probably one of the rarest ones, too. Now, another band that's played called The Office, actually. Uh, this record definitely came from uh, that show. Somebody bought it. Yeah. It's autographed by the entire band. It's certainly something more recent, for sure. Uh, but just to, to illustrate that newer records can get valuable, too. It's uh, Spinneret, which is Brody Dahl's uh, most recent band. And if you're like, I know that name, but I don't know how, that's also uh, Josh Homme from Queens of the Stone Age. It's his wife. That's right. Yeah. So this uh, very, very rare, limited record. It was pressed just in really small numbers way back when, when it came out. Um, and that alone is makes it worth a hundred dollars enough fans to warrant the price being that high We're throwing the autographs in for free. We can always charge a premium for autographs But we didn't in this case so come on in and get a really good deal on a spinneret record folks What about uh, artists that have come through here when they're doing a show like lots of punk bands and indie bands from call the office come through Yeah, we're, we're good neighbors with call the office. So it's just uh, they tend to wander in, like every every band that plays at Call of the Office. So, I know but even if a, a band's playing one in Music Hall, oh, or yeah, yeah, we get we get it pretty regularly, just uh, being in our location. I know Strung Out was in recently. The Sadies always stop in when they're in town. Uh, uh, Jay Jay Ferguson, we were talking about him earlier. He always stops in town. So that would be uh, Jay from Sloan. Yeah, Jay yeah. from Sloan is his other name. What about any classic rockers? Uh, one of our biggest ones we've ever had would probably be Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, stopped in uh, many years ago now. <laughs> what did he buy? Uh, pretty much cleaned out our reggae section, interestingly. He spent <gasps> hundreds of dollars just on reggae, which I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have nailed it, but, you know, music people like music. Yeah.